Kevin Liu, uh, the decentralization coordinator of Metis DAO Foundation. Both, actually. <laughs> oh, <Both>. nice. <laughs> I, yeah, this morning I have both. <laughs> breakfast <laughs> you know like some brownies mm, bread something like that nice yeah. <gasps> see i'm a bad dancer you know people laughed at me when i danced this year i was doing exercise <laughs> <laughs> I would prefer stay at home, actually. <laughs> Small one, uh, especially with, you know, friends that I'm familiar with, I think that would be, yeah, great. Actually, you know, I tried a lot of food, you know, uh, in, in different countries, but I still prefer Asian food, you know, like Japanese, uh, Thailand, and of course Chinese food, yeah. Uh, I like dogs, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I play soccer when I uh, was in the university, so yeah, uh, I think the sports outside is is my preference, but of course I currently I, I actually I hope to try some AR games. You know I can see some games uh, with some meta quest. You know you, you can do exercise uh, along with the with the game. So that's something I definitely want to try. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I, I listen to a lot of music back to, you know, in the schools, universities, even, uh, I'm not sure if you heard about Take That, uh, a, a band, you know, uh, uh, from the United States. And also uh, I like one of the uh, Canadian uh, female singer. Uh, her name is Shen uh, Shania Twain. Um, um, re most recently, I uh, I'm listening to a band called One Direction. Uh, I like the energy, and as I mentioned, I need that kind of energy to move forward. <laughs> um, there are a lot of cities I want to explore. Actually, uh, the number one is uh, London. Um, that's my dream city when, when I you know, hope to go abroad to have uh, education, but I didn't have the chance in the past. So that's my one of my dream cities I hope to go. I would say, yeah, maybe that's the city. <laughs> I would say, um, first, I'm very purpose driven or mission driven. Um, I can see the, you know, there's a future over there and uh, I hope, um, you know, uh, I can have, uh, uh, I can lead the team to accomplish that. Uh, that's one. And also I would say I'm very lucky because I have uh, so many people uh, around me to support my uh, and our vision and mission. So yeah, I think uh, mission driven and also very lucky. Um, actually, no, you know, uh, I was growing up uh, back in China and we, we didn't have too much religion uh, to, you know, put our face in. Uh, but I think I believe some, you know, like basic uh, principles that uh, if you work hard, you will get the result you want in any way. 
and also if you uh, do uh, something good to others, others will return the favor back in uh, in, in one way or another. So um, I think although I don't have any religious uh, you know belief, but uh, I believe some basic principles. I would say uh, watching a uh, science fiction movie. Uh, actually, I like the one uh, related to Star Wars. You know, there are a lot of uh, TV series recently, you know, released uh, from uh, Disney Plus. Uh, the one I recently watched is. Uh, Mandalorian, the latest version is a hit. I, I like the ending part. All the um, Mandalorian gather together to protect their uh, land, to protect their family, and to preserve their belief that this is a way. I have uh, like two. I have already have two period, uh, not two period, uh, two startups. Uh, the first one was back in 2010 uh, to 2015. Uh, I was one of the co-founder uh, of a mobile live streaming application uh, in in China. Um, we managed to have 160 million total downloads, and also our, our you know a large team to support the mission. I think it's pretty similar to how it is grown to the current stage. Um, I would say that this true uh, startup experience, uh, you know, was the most valuable thing in my, in my life. And uh, that's most uh, valuable since that I cherish. Um, yeah, and also I'm proud of, proud of that we can have a, a team to accomplish the mission all together. Um, I would say, you know, uh, in the, especially uh, in the um, entrepreneurship, you know, like this kind of experience in meetings. Uh, there are uh, a few areas that we didn't do correctly. Um, one of the major, you know, uh, issue, I think, is that although meetings is tech driven, and we have team seriously committed to the tech development. And also, uh, we have so many innovations on the way, and also developed, also uh, developed and uh, launched. But uh, you know, uh, it seems uh, we we didn't express that much or uh, deliver the message clearly to the community. So um, we're not recognized as um, company that I wish we could be recognized, um, which is you know, actually we should be a tech driven company and uh, we're actively uh, contributing to the Ethereum uh, ecosystem. But currently I think that's the part that we didn't accomplish yet. Uh, I understand the, the, the team uh, of um, it is L2, they are working hard to, um, uh, you know, with the relation, uh, that real part uh, to, you know, um, supplement what we have been missing. So uh, I think that's the lesson we have learned that um, we need to, you know, first, uh, when we do something, uh, we still need to express or marketing it correctly to the right audience. Um, 
I, I don't think that's that's something、um, we have been doing correctly in the past. But I'm glad that、uh, our two teams are working hard to to make it right. Oh, you know,、uh, actually, I have a rock and roll heart in my <laughs> inside.、Uh, I would prefer to play drum, you know, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hate a lot of things. I hate, you know, like not being understandable. Oh, sorry. I I hate not uh hate to be you know like misunderstood by others. I hate not being recognized, as I just mentioned. You know, not be、um, being recognized as what we need to be. And、uh, yeah, basically, <laughs> that's that's something I hate、uh, when we. Do something. I I hope we can be recognized our efforts. I would say I'm still you know not quite socialized. Ah,、uh, I hope I can improve this part. You know to um ah、uh, you know like. I I understand a lot of、uh, founders of many other projects. They are quite vocal on the social part. So uh, when uh, they have something to communicate or even debate or discuss with the community, they can generate the the you know、uh, communication environment or the atmosphere、uh, in the social media.、Uh, I think I'm too quiet in this part. I hope I can,、uh, yeah, increase the social presence in the in the near future. Ah,、uh, get to the blockchain space even earlier. <laughs> It's too late. <laughs> I don't know, but maybe also some startup. I、uh, I won't be, you know, lay behind or just lay back. <laughs> I will find something interesting to do. Oh, um, actually, majority of that part can be still work. You know. Like、uh, for the foundation level, we need、uh, all the governance structure coming out, all the governance product to be launched, and、uh, all the commons equal nodes they can collaborate with each other.、Um, yeah. Also, you know we have、uh, some new projects coming out,、uh, so I hope we can have a、uh, you know very successful launch and.、Uh, Uh, kick off. So majority of the part in the on the billboard gonna be still work. Um, actually, Mister Foundation belongs to everyone、uh, in the media ecosystem. Uh, when we uh, launch and design the Mister Foundation structure, we hope it can be、uh, umbrella structure. That oversee the whole ecosystem development.、Um, it's not the foundation to make the decision.、Uh, eventually, it's gonna be the、uh, community, the commons, the eco nodes. They make decisions all together. So, foundation will be like the cur-、uh, curators or supporters、uh, to facilitate all the process,、uh, all the support, and to encourage.、Uh, Collaboration、uh, spirit among all the ecosystem、uh, players. So、um, I would say,、uh, Mister Foundation、uh, 
uh, is naturally a decentralized autonomous company, and it belongs to all the players in the midst of ecosystem. The vision for Mitisol Foundation actually is that, uh, in a simple word, is to enabling or uh, empowering the Web3 economy uh, development. As we see, uh, Web3 is not some separate the apps. It's not just DeFi. It should be a uh, you know interconnected economy running and to support every individuals to realize their personal value uh, in the in the you know blockchain space so uh, our vision actually is to drive and to make it happen in order to do that it will have different layers of structure to support uh, the meetings layer 2 is the you know infrastructure layer to make all the transactions seamlessly at low cost high speed and also, you know, uh, with great security feature. So uh, that's the layer two part. Also, we will need some, you know, very easy uh, login process uh, or, you know, uh, entry point. So that's Noble, uh, uh, one of the eco nodes that can provide the, uh, you know, uh, non-wallet login or, you know, even email login uh, process. And also, we will need some collaboration uh, infrastructure, like uh, that's what uh, Corey is, is providing to enabling collaborations happening in the Web3 space. So uh, also, we have seen a lot of applications of the AI enabled. So uh, POX is incubating some AI-based uh, mining and uh, tooling stuff. So uh, with all these infrastructure, the MITI ecosystem will be a uh, very complete uh, infrastructure to support the Web3 economy uh, to, you know, uh, they can do transactions on the blockchain, they, uh, they can onboard users from Web2, and it can enable in, uh, the collaborations happening and also utilize the AI uh, to facilitate all the process to automate all the process and also can engage the mining community uh, to pro uh, provide some uh, computation power. So all this gonna work for the Web3 economy. Um, decentralization actually is the core and the, you know, like the base value for the Mystical Foundation. Uh, um, you know, we um, we are not quite a fan of the current uh, token delegation um, voting model. Uh, we hope uh, all the players, all the users in the Mystical Foundation can have your voice instead of you delegate to some delegators and they vote on your behalf uh, which you know in uh, some cases that might not be your own opinion or your own choice um, so that's why we have these uh, three layers of governance structure we have the basic unit of DAC and uh, when DAC is taking we meet this, uh, state committees and gang committees, they can become the common, and the common can do the proposal. Uh, so for every user in the, or every uh, member of this common, uh, they can voice their own opinion. But, and if this common is not supportive of their uh, personal opinion, they can choose to leave. And the portion of uh, that we committees will be uh, withdrawn uh, from that uh, common so you don't have to you know uh, support if you don't want to um, also we have eco nodes to to uh, vote and also to do the implementation so uh, we see decentralization um, 
in a real way, not just you know you delegate to some token holders and then it's still a centralized governance mechanism for all these large token holders or large delegators to do the uh, decision for you. So for us, we treat decentralization in a different way and we hope our structure can do some uh, experiment and see how it goes. Uh, but in, in a short sentence that decentralization is the core value of Mises information. DAC actually is decentralized autonomous company. Uh, it's a different concept with decentralized autonom autonomous organization. We see DAC as uh, evolution of DAO because for most or majority of the DAO, uh, it's just like a shell structure when people uh, delegate your, your tokens to do the voting. But actually, we see DAC as a basic unit of the Web3 economy, where people can actually gather together to achieve some mission, uh, achieve their goal, uh, to collaborate. So uh, that's why we say DAC is a basic unit for Web3 economy, but also uh, a platform to facilitate all the uh, trustless collaborations. Uh, Econode is a very important component of Unity's DAO ecosystem. Um, because as you know, the layer 2, uh, the scaling solution uh, actually needs a lot of expertise to develop. Uh, so it's, it's going to be very hard for you know, a general community developer or a third party team to just uh, develop something and launch the network. Um, you will need an uh, expertized team to do the uh, launch and uh, maintenance work. Uh, that's why we define this uh, position for Econode. Econode actually are, are the key infrastructure providers and the maintainers in the MISDAO ecosystem. So it's not just layer two, you know, like. Uh, what I mentioned, like Novo, the, the infrastructure for the, for the uh, wallet and identity, and also, uh, you know, like Corys, the infrastructure for collaborations, all this stuff, they're super important to the Mitis DAO's whole mission and vision. And uh, we, we treat these Econodes as some very dedicated, but independent, uh, team to do the work. So for Econodes, they need uh, to support by themselves, but also uh, they need to stake uh, quite a large amount of MITIS token uh, in the MITIS style ecosystem. So then they can have the stake here. Uh, and also they need to, you know, like validate some proposals from commons proposed and uh, also do the implementation uh, after the proposal is passed. So for Econodes, it's, they, they're going to play a very important role in uh, governing the ecosystem, maintaining the ecosystem. So as you can see, uh, it's uh, from the nature perspective, it's a startup, but it cannot be just a, a random startup. It's, uh, these eco nodes should have their own stake in the MITIS ecosystem and also provide uh, the basic infrastructure service to the whole ecosystem. So I think that's a big difference between eco node and uh, startups. Uh, I think uh, we have designed a group path for DAC to become an uh, Econode. Uh, DAC is going to be the uh, basic unit of the 
meets uh, DAO ecosystem. Uh, one members of the DAC stake meetings, and this DAC can uh, accumulate with meetings. So at that time, one the DAC have uh, we meetings, it will naturally upgrade to a common. A common means you share some basic value uh, with all the common members and you hope to contribute to the MITI style ecosystem construction. So uh, for a common, you have we MITIs, so you can propose proposals uh, to make MITIs better. Uh, and uh, when these commons, you know, you have a lot of members, you contribute to the whole ecosystem construction and you have some very important role in the ecosystem uh, involvement. Uh, let's say you provide some basic infrastructure service to the whole ecosystem. Then uh, there will be a process that all the current econos can uh, vote to let you in. Uh, so this grown path is that you need to become a DAC first and then accumulate remedies to become the common and contribute to the whole ecosystem construction and then there will be a way for you to grow to the eco node.